Yo, 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 it's your boy Steph. And this Logic's what I am. And we motherfucking back. And before we even start, I want to let y'all know we know what episode we on. <laughs> 36.5. Right. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, we want to say rest in peace to... I suck at pronouncing stuff, so I'm going to go ahead uh, and mean, say rest in peace to Debo and you say his real name. <laughs> Devo Tommy Tiny Lister. I didn't um I, I thought didn't, it was Lister. Yeah, I didn't look up uh what happened, but he was, he was 62, which was a little surprising to me. Because he looked good for 62. Yeah, I didn't think he was 62, but yeah, um, do have to look up what happened. I might at some point in this uh podcast. But yeah, rest well, it's fresh. Time. Yeah, it's no, fresh for both of us. We're recording last, this on go ahead. Last, my bad, last Friday is just looking bad now. Like I believe they still didn't start filming it. And I think COVID messed up. Well, first of all, John Witherspoon passing messed it up. Yeah. COVID further messed it up. And I'm sure he wanted Debo in the last one. So it's like, damn. Yeah, man. I hope he could still make the movie shit. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do because they talking about uh like Smokey not gonna be smoky. He's supposed to be I wouldn't some... be too. Ooh, mad at that, but yeah, but now you kind of need him to be smoking. <laughs> <You got, laughs> so you can have some life back into you, the movie. Yeah, you got to bring motherfucking Chico back now. You <laughs> from <laughs> one of the Fridays or some shit. Yeah, yeah, you got to bring some Joker pe- Joker baby Joker, Joker got to be back. At least he got roll down a block or something. All of yeah, the, the jokers. The jokers got to come back if you're they, fitting no Debo. They have to. Uncle Elroy and Sugar Nasty ass gonna have to come back. <laughs> You gotta bring everybody. You gonna have to bring everybody back. You might have to bring Cat Williams back. You gonna have to, shit. You gotta bring everybody I mean, back. I feel like he probably had that in the works anyway. Though. Yeah, probably. Uh, hopefully, everybody back. Everybody important. Everybody. He probably. could. He could probably flip Debo because he could actually say that Debo died, and he can have his uh sticky fingers playing whatever part you know. Whatever he was gonna have Debo do, Steve uh, Sticky Fingers can do. Sticky Fingers doing now. Uh, Shit, who knows? But then the, the, what's so crazy is it's just like the same effect with like bad boys. All these niggas that we name it age so much. Sticky that, fingers is the nigga from um Fredro Star. That right? Fredro, yeah, I, well, Onyx, Onyx, I think, yeah. It, it's sticky fingers, right? Yeah. Sticky, no, 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 no. So Fred Fredro Star is the one that the Moesha guy. No, I know what I'm saying. Okay. But he's the other person. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does he look so different outside of that? Like when I was, I, you know, I, gee, I randomly go back and look at when they was at the Breakfast Club. Gee. Oh, for, oh go yeah. And listen to that shit sometimes. Nigga was mad for no laugh. reason. <laughs> Say, yeah, nigga, snuff you outside your place. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, dude, I, I wouldn't have ran. <laughs> I would have fought all them niggas. <laughs> like, shut your dumb ass yeah. up. But yeah, I, I look at that sometimes. And, and that don't look like the same person that was in mm-hmm. Next Friday. Yeah, I mean that's why I just said I was like you the, with time all these people we named the age so fucking much. Yeah. Even if you yeah. go get uh baby D, she don't look like baby D. She yeah. like grandma D now. Like well, all, I just see her. They had a little snippet with her and Mike Epps on Facebook. Oh yeah, yeah, I did see that. I forgot. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, her. honestly, she didn't really age that much. But everybody else, mm-hmm. Uncle Elroy probably look old. Fucking uh, yeah, sticky don't. fingers look old. Even if you go get the any of the girls that Craig was lusting on, they all look they a whole lot older. Still very pretty. So they. I mean, I'm not saying they ugly, but they look old. They're gonna look yeah, old. So much got older. Gray on them now, shit. Yeah, I mean, like everybody gonna be they a they all age together. Yeah, I just wonder <laughs> how it's gonna work. Like <laughs> bad boys did it by playing a whole bunch of scene, a whole bunch of car chasing scenes, car and not chasing. having to actually fucking be physical. But I mean, shit, it could work if they funny. Look at, when you look at Martin from one, two, and three, boy, that boy, me, that, that, that shit crazy. <laughs> Will ain't changed as much, Not but that, Martin he, he nigga stayed in shape. So yeah, well, he actually got swoller. If anything, he just got swoller. You know week. what? And Bad Boys when he was little as fuck, he had them little fitted clothes still hanging off of him and shit. Uh, he had uh, that uh, one shirt. I forgot what it was. It was supposed to be a fitted shirt, but it was kind of loose and shit. Now he. He is big now. He like regular <laughs> size. Like he was, right. skin, he was built like a teenager. He, you talking about Will? Will, yeah, in Will. The first one, in the yeah, first Will one. was Will. Will was kind of tiny, mm. but uh, Martin, that shit just that shit wild, ain't it? I got a friend. <laughs> but got a fr- 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. No, I was gonna say I had a friend in high school that was like our size, and like three years after, he just got he looked yeah. like Martin. Like I don't know how the fuck that happened. Gee, well, we we the niggas that just stayed the same. <laughs> I swear yeah, to God, that's gee, true. A hell of people I went to college and high school with just blew up, and I was just it's just funny because that was such that was like his personality in the movie. He was like he was more reserved and like he ain't really care about being flashy and fancy, and then the nigga just gained weight. <laughs> I'm like, that shit worked perfect. Will couldn't be the nigga to gain weight. <laughs> he cared too much about his appearance. Yeah, I don't think I ever gain weight. My I mama just, said, just wait. Wait till you're 45. I'm that's like, what everybody keeps my... I was like, the moment I look down and be like, damn, I'm gaining weight, I'm finna be ecstatic, and then I'm gonna work the fuck out. Yeah. If it's just, like, random weight. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> my dad was like, my dad was like, yeah, I was just going to catch up with you in my head. I'm like, I don't know how. <laughs> don't know how <laughs> the second it get close, I'm I'm doing something like, like, <laughs> yo, my dad's stomach is so fat because he's so short. He's so short and his stomach so fat. He looks so stupid. Like, it's just, his body looks so fucked up. <laughs> this nigga said he looks stupid. Like, he like he swallowed a baby or something. Like, oh, my God. Like, it's literally just in the stomach. It's just the it. stomach. You know, but he That'd do shit word. like just eat snacks all day. Like it'd be bedtime. He got a whole a drawer with Twizzlers and shit in it, and he just gee that's just sleep the movie like shit. That's what his, I did. I ever tell you what he did? What this dumb nigga? Look, yo, my dad. <laughs> no, cause he dumb. When you look, he do that sleep eating shit right. Why this nigga drink half a bottle of peroxide? Sleep eating. What it had to take him to the hospital. We was on vacation, Gee. and this nigga drinks. This nigga drinks half a bottle of peroxide. How the and he what wakes is sleep up and, eating. First of all, he sleep and he eat. Don't you know that's, that drawer like on the side of his bed? I told you. Shit. Yeah, he eat in his sleep. Don't you know? I told you he got a drawer of snacks on the side. Of his be an illness. What? <laughs> shit, his ass fat man. Gee, what? His first ass of all, be like why? this. And that's how he put himself to sleep, fuck around. Nigga be in the middle of the night doing that shit too. That's like how he, that's how he rock himself to sleep. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> some niggas suck their thumbs. This nigga unwrap this shit. Heard of sleep eating? That's wild. Yeah. I just gave it a name. It's pro- probably not as uh, I gave it a name because okay. it's literally what he doing, man. This nigga be oh. eating in his sleep. <laughs> peroxide. That's wild. They had to pump his stomach. Yeah, this nigga didn't even know it was peroxide till you woke. He woke up in his sleep and he seen, he said, oh, shit. <laughs> so he did it and then realized it on his own. So he didn't like feel effects. Or nope. I he didn't realize. To you. I don't know. Probably not much. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he, he did that. He just do all kind of shit. Like, that's weird. so I don't think that's ever going to happen to me. I don't. I do be on that. Now nah, it's time for some sweet shit now. After I eat, but I don't really be. <laughs> it's usually like I might have a couple fruities if I had some, which is couple rare. <laughs> and if not, then I just be eating chips. And that's too, G. I'm not a big snack person. I'm not a sweets person. I'm not a dessert person. Like yeah. I don't, I don't need candy. Like motherfuckers be like, I got some birthday cake. I'll be the last nigga to eat it. I eat Same. the smallest piece of cake, G. Like, I, I don't like desserts like that. Yeah. Even the ones I do like, I don't want them all the time. I eat a little bit. I yeah. keep an apple pie for two weeks. <laughs> G, I got I some apple pies pie. in the really refrigerator. Like apple, like, I'm about to eat them bitches after this. It's funny as hell. I like apple pie, G, but I can't eat an apple pie quickly. Like, I can't. Yeah. It's just too much sweetness for me. Now, I feel that. That's how, like... <laughs> I feel especially like that with chocolate. Like people be having, they be like, chocolate "Yeah, I'm about to make a um." I what I see on TikTok, somebody had like Oreos and they put white chocolate on. It. I was just like done once I seen all the Oreos as the layer. <laughs> I was like, "That's just too much." That's I'm just too I, much. That I just a headache. Why are y'all eating all this type like chocolate double triple chocolate fudge? No, <laughs> fuck no. What the fuck? Oh, just, no. If I do eat chocolate, I just want simple chocolate. I don't need yeah. no extra. I damn near don't even like the. I, I rather I prefer the frosting than like the cake. Mm-hmm. But gee, I like like the grandma's cookies. Yeah, them is cool to me. I eat yeah. that like once every four months. <laughs> <laughs> like that's about it. But other other shit, gee, like you said, like motherfuckers be like, I got a double trip it pound, yeah. double, double mm-hmm. chocolate dip. Pound I'm good. Cake. I'm like, nope. I don't I'm good on all that shit. If I eat, if I like, <laughs> you said, if I eat snacks. 
If I do eat cake, it's gonna be the most basic one, like a seven up cake with no frosting on it, <laughs> no pound no cake <laughs> with nothing on it. It just tastes like vanilla and goodness. Like I don't yeah. really, I eat chips though. I eat chips like a motherfucker. I like uh, certain chips and even those. I'm not going out and buying because I hate how much they cheat you on these fucking bags. G. Oh yeah, they they, they doing shit. you dirty. I'm not like gonna lie. Buy. They're doing you dirty. You paying one two dollars now for a bag of chips? More damn money for let. I'm like you bitches are robbing us right in front of our face. Like we ain't the same niggas that was buying these chips for fucking a quarter when we was eight. Stop playing with me. <laughs> that shit uh-huh. irritated. And then niggas, I don't prefer fried food, so it's just like I don't see mm-hmm. myself just blowing up. I don't. <laughs> yeah. And it's that air fryer over there, man. The air fryer <laughs> change everybody. I don't like know if you can see, you probably can't see it. No, nah, I just know about it. it. I got that bitch right there. <laughs> I know yeah, all about yeah, it, man. Air fryer change your life. Hey, real. the air fryer is 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 our generation's George Foreman grill. You remember the George Old Foreman time. grill hit? Dude, that bitch was a, my mama. Boy, my mama ain't never leave that alone. My mama still got George Foreman grills, but Damn. she ain't got no air fryer. <laughs> G. <laughs> When George Foreman grill dropped, that shit was like retro one, that son. That shit, shit was it was like, like, okay, we got regular. Now we got bedazzled. Now we got colors. <laughs> now we got ones with the bun warm on the top. It was just Jeez. like, yo, it's so <laughs> many. <laughs> then it was like, you know what? We realized. I remember I seen some commercial. He explained drip, it. He was like, drip catch drip pan and shit. I, I, so he was like, we give you two drip pans. Get your, <laughs> we give you this. When you, you did not skip scraper. <laughs> On my life, dude, as in a, in a commercial, you talking about some. He was like, "We realized these has these have become quite sensational for families, so we've doubled the size." Motherfucker, George <laughs> Foreman grill this long. <laughs> he talking about some. You can make twice the food and twice the time. He like and twice the buns. <laughs> my mama had. I think she went through. She got the long one. Bitches. See, she got, see, she got a wild one. She got yeah. a wild one. Dude, it's no like fryer. that shit funny. It's like everybody. I think it was a point where you like you couldn't get one. It I was think. there was like retro <laughs> ones, dude. I'll tell them motherfuckers was selling out. And spe- <laughs> when they when they dropped their bun warmer, that's when things got crazy because you start putting you know colors on them, one. huh? You said <laughs> what? Had, we never had a bun, but you warmer. seen that one though, right? But I with, remember it. Yeah, with I the top. It. But the yeah, top man, because I remember everybody had the original one. And now that I'm thinking about it, and like I know how to cook, like that wasn't doing shit but destroying our food, yo. You Why put you a steak that? in there, and if you close the top, uh-huh. now it's now you drying it out. But don't you just you just don't cook it as long, right? Hell no, you're not supposed to smash it. You know, when you make burgers, you're not supposed to smash burgers at all. No, I know, but I'm just saying, like you said, it was drying it out. But I'm saying, like, wouldn't that just be depending on how long you uh closed it? Yeah, to an extent, but like you let majority of the juice out when you You do this. Squeeze it out. Yeah. Like um, I was just on TikTok and I seen somebody. You mean like pushing it versus? Yeah, you know when they when you put the top on there, you're not supposed to. Even with a burger, you know they tell you don't smash your burger. You just supposed to flip it and Mm. flip it. You're not supposed to smash it. Just like steak. Juicy. You know when you get a steak, what they say? Don't cut it for like ten minutes, right? Because you're gonna ruin the juice. You know what I'm saying? You gonna. One is still cooking. Two, you're gonna let all of the juice run out while it's still cooking and your shit gonna right. imagine pushing the juice out before you even get to that point. Not pushing, but the top is heavy as fuck the George you Foreman. Pushing it, shit. Yeah, so you pushing. but like just imagine uh-huh. what you're doing to a chicken breast on the George Foreman. It's right, it's gonna already. be dry as shit, man. Yeah, I was gonna say it's already not all like anymore. all the goodness is in the drip tray. <laughs> you're gonna need the drip tray for, <laughs> for fucking tray. dip. <laughs> hey, <laughs> dip your shit so in the drip. Fu- G, I was so fucked up back then, G, because I used to look in the drip pan. G, I'm a nigga that used to like eat fat. Like Me too. When I ate bacon. G, when I that's ate bacon. That's the best part. I that was the best part. The- <laughs> best fucking part, hands G, down. I pulled, the, I pulled the fat off. G, when my mama used to cook burgers, G, I used to pull, when she was done, I used to pull the fat out of the <laughs> skillet and eat it. It's the best. Okay, <laughs> look. Eat, and I looked in that drip pan like, damn, all this fat in here. I want that <laughs> shit. <laughs> That shit, <laughs> and, I, and I felt like that was my threshold. Son. I couldn't dig in a drip pan full of nasty grease plus Yo. fat. Yo, I my nigga, what? I wanted that. You, was, you really wanted? You damn it! Thought about taking a spoon to the drip tray before you probably like. And but I, I realized that's when I had a problem. I was like, I can't go in this drip pan. Yeah, fat. 
<laughs> it's just going to taste like fucking oil. And But I did it out the skillet. Though. Right, right. Yeah. I, it was covered in oil. You got to have something. Skillet. Yeah. <laughs> but I used to do that too. That was the best part on steaks for me. That was the best part on bacon yep. for me. That was the best part on pork chops for me. The fat yep. part. And like now that I'm an adult yep. and I be watching some of these cooking shows, he be like, Cut the you see my face when you be like now cut the fat off. I'd be like, what? <laughs> not cut no fat off. I'm cut kidding. It. For what the fuck niggas, is wrong? They, right. they don't want to eat it, just don't eat it. You hear the me? Dude, you cut it off. The worst is when I like watch certain niggas make ribs and they be like, now trim the fat. I'd be like, on ribs? You lost your fucking mind. Nigga, I I chew on there. I redip the fat in barbecue <laughs> sauce and eat it. <laughs> Not redipping. I'll be because look, you know, you have a hey, look so as a fat you. eater. You know, some of them is just like you be chewing on it. You like, I can't swallow this. Like, I gotta like chew the fuck out of it or just chew spit the it shit out. out of it. Like, you know, you get the seasoning and all the juice and good shit out. You, can, I can just spit this out like gum. You ever have yeah, that yeah, happen? Yeah. When it get to that point, I'll be like, fuck, dip it back in barbecue sauce <laughs> and do it again. Gotta savor every bit of yeah, that. It's usually when it's like, when, I, when all the food is gone and I'm just like scavenging. I'm just in the fucking, uh, especially when I'm eating barbecue ribs, I'm just scavenging. I'm just like, what's left? Like, I didn't do that shit with bones too. I'll be what's like, left? Nigga, I'm telling you, nigga, I Boy, thought I was, man, I thought I, I was weird for eating fat, man. man <laughs> I knew I wasn't the only person. I mean, my, my lady, she looked at me crazy when I told her, but I was like, I'm like <laughs> the drip tray bro, shit is I hilarious. Did, no, I didn't do it, but I looked at that bitch. Yo, I we should name this episode it. Drip Tray. You wild son. <laughs> that man no, said I, niggas don't even eat bacon no more, but when I see it and I see that fat, I'd be like, Yeah. Yeah. That's I'd be like, I'm like, man, if yeah. I ever just had a moment of weakness. If I had to pick, like, say, like, since we changed our diets, if you had a moment to, of weakness, what would be the first thing you eat that you left behind? Am I going to get sick behind it? Is just nothing? No, no. no, repercussions? no repercussions. Bacon. Bacon. I'm going to fuck some really? bacon. You know how much shit I miss with bacon? <laughs> Fucking potatoes, O'Brien. That's the potatoes with the bacon and yeah. hella cheese. Fucking bacon burgers. See, I wasn't, I love the fat more than the bacon itself. Yeah. I did like bacon. But, but mine would be pig feet. Oh, G. no, I <laughs> ain't African never been a pig G. feet either. <laughs> I think I ate it when I was a kid and I got older. I was like, this tastes like nothing but fat. Now that tastes Man, like nothing but fat to me. I, and I think that's where my problem lies. <laughs> <laughs> G, well, my dad was a fake ass Muslim, G. He used to make <laughs> a fake ass Muslim. G, because what Muslim <laughs> eating pig what? feet? Lupe. G. <laughs> G. My dad used to fuck up some pig feet, G, like, often. We ate that shit in my crib. Pig feet was normal, G, and I really loved that shit. Did like, y'all eat like, it with, like, barbecue sauce or something? We used to eat it with palm butter, which is another okay. African dish. I want to eat palm butter, man. G, I'm a, uh, I, 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 uh, Make that nigga yeah, make some I food this you. weekend. I, say, <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be there, but I, but next time uh, we make it, I'll let you know. Yeah. But yeah, that shit is fire. My lady love it too. So they that shit good as hell. I ain't mastered what is myself it? yet. Exactly. Cause it's I see it, it look like it looks like mashed potato, nut. but then it look like dough. It has a dough consistency or something. No, that's fufu. That's oh, okay. fufu. That dough is fufu. That's fufu. Okay. The, the palm butter is a is a it's kind of like a soup. It's mm. like a, it's like barbecue sauce. It's a sauce basically. It comes in a can and it's just sauce that you. Dang, my internet connection unstable. I hope the video straight. But yeah, it, it comes in the can, and um, you, you just you just cook it and put it over whatever you want: chicken, fufu, pig mm -hmm. feet. We used to. That's usually how we made it. But it's a also that's the red it's like red sauce on shit. the fufu. But um, that's what I ate my pig feet with. It's like brownish orange. Yeah. Okay, I seen but that yes, before. That's what's on it. That's what's okay. On it. I seen that before. I want to try yeah, both so, of them before. And, and I that's mean, what we I want to try pig both. feet on. And yes, mm -hmm. it take fufu. I want to try all that yeah, shit. Yeah, all that shit good. <laughs> so yeah, I, we do it with on fufu or on rice. So and yes, pig feet taste like straight fat. But when you get done and you suck all the palm butter outside of the bone, yeah. it's like the pig feet got the bone, and then it's like. It's like you could where it was cut, you could get inside the marrow and all that shit, and yeah. you suck the juice out. Oh my fucking god, <laughs> that shit was fucking amazing. And I wish you knew that you had it before, but I, I'm gonna let you know next time we make that shit. 
Yeah, man. That's, man, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, by you being a, like a fat eater, when you made your bacon, you didn't make it. What the fuck? <laughs> you didn't make your, you didn't make your bacon. <laughs> you didn't make no, your bacon I, you, crispy, did you? You, you made know, your bacon I, semi-chewy? When I, I never made bacon for myself. What? Like, I, excuse me. I ain't really start cooking until I went to college. Actually, mm-hmm. not even when I went to college. When I got my own apartment, and damn near by that time, I wasn't eating it no more. Well, what the fuck was you eating all day up until the I end? I didn't eat bacon. I didn't make it, I said. I didn't make my I, own. I, I thought you said I didn't cook for myself. That's what I was saying. Like I probably did say that, but I meant I never made bacon oh. for myself. Okay, I, okay. I, meant I never made bacon for myself. No, I feel that. Yeah. I don't and learn I how to make bacon for a while either. I think it's because I just didn't want to mess it up, so I just never yeah. tried to. I spent so many but, times trying to fry bacon and oh and overcooking it and running mm-hmm. from grease popping at me. And I was probably scared of that shit too. Yeah, I learned. I was my... scared to make chicken. Okay, <laughs> all right. I, I I mastered that shit young, but no, I was scared, boy. I, I did it, but I was scared. Of what shit. you was scared of the grease? Yeah, the grease popping on me. Shit. Oh yeah, chicken chicken <laughs> grease is a little aggressive, oh, yeah, but that bacon I mean. grease is, is hands down the worst. <laughs> I wasn't scared to uh make it because of tasting. I was scared to make it getting popped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Aid pulled up with heat. What the fuck? I don't know. Oh, galore. No, I don't know what the fuck my brother was saying. But uh, enough about us and our strange lives. Okay, <laughs> we gonna go on to talk about the cele- these celebrities. <laughs> the celebrities and they weird lives. First oh of all, God. um, do you know who Anne Marie is? I found out. Okay, you can you can tell shit. me more than not more than I know because I just thought it was the girl that made that fire ass song back it's in the just day. Yeah, tripping. <laughs> That's who I thought it was, and then they showed a picture. Everybody said that. Because who the fuck is she? <laughs> See, she from Chicago too. She wow. got my birthday too, which kind of wow. blew me. Same exact birthday, not year, but date. How? And um, she was ninety five. She was born, I think. Right on. But yeah, she a Chicago. And first of all, she looked like a rapper, but she a singer, I guess. I I ain't heard. I asked, I asked some of my younger friends. I'm like, who would I know any song with this girl? It was like she got like a couple with her, but but like nothing popular, I guess. So yeah. I ain't never heard of her to this incident. But it sounds like she was, if not popular in Chicago, on her way to be being popular in Chicago, nonetheless, in the bigger, you know, in the Region. in the music yeah. business. Period. And I'm just like, why don't women do anything but fucking leave? What she do? Beat up somebody for cheating on her? Shoot them? Oh, you don't know shit. Nothing. You don't know nothing? I just knew it was some nigga. bullshit. She shot her nigga in the face and killed him. Now, I saw one thing that said her boyfriend. I saw another thing that said her side nigga. Either way, that shit is fucked. Why would she shoot him? Gee, he was texting another girl. So she shot him in the face, and how, like, where did she think her life was him. going? G, ladies, why didn't her life take her outside the fucking door? Like, I excuse me, I just don't. G, <laughs> we no motherfuckers sense. say women do everything, believe. Yes. <laughs> Exhibit fucking a, <laughs> like, that, don't, that don't make no fucking sense. Why would you not leave? <laughs> Especially if this was your side nigga. Especially, I saw one thing that said side nigga. I don't know what's true. All I know is she shot a nigga she was messing with in the face, and regardless of whether it was a side, main, upside down, inside out nigga, <laughs> she should have fucking upside. left. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. That's stupid. If, if that's how, home, if you felt that strong, yeah, you your girl cheating on you. I'm. Oh, I was gonna say something about cheating. Now I'm. I fit after we finish this up. Um. Yeah. That's stupid as fuck. Now she in jail, <laughs> never coming fuck around home. And be for life. Fuck around and now you got bump coochies and shit like that. You know, <laughs> all because you he was over he, a nigga. You he was want. done. <laughs> he was done, and like you should knew he was done because you supposedly you supposed to be a climbing up and coming rapper, and he's still out here dogging you. Singer. So singer, singer, and he's still out here yeah. dogging you. So you know he done. You know that's like yeah. if if a motherfucking celebrity out here. His girl cheating on him, she and nobody, and he's still a celebrity, and she cheat. That right. bitch is done with him. Right. She done with him. Why are you Baby, even crying like, over what there? What the fuck are you fucking your shit up for? He don't, yeah. You got way more to lose. Yeah, let way him. More. Let that nigga leave. He want to leave. Leave. 
What the fuck? It was one and, of them. But but not even that. He, whether he wanted to leave or not, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers fuck up, too. You know, he might not have wanted to. But she, if she was to the point where it's like, I have to kill you. Yeah. Why you ain't leave? Bro, that was stupid the maddest fuck. I ever see me getting with a woman I'm involved with, I'm just leaving with no word said. Yeah. If I walked in on you fucking a man, I'm not even finna, I'm not finna beat him up. Yeah. I'm not finna beat you up. I'm yeah. fucking gone. That's yeah. it. Like that's is nothing. There's nothing to discuss. You know what I'm saying? Like if if I'm at that point, like yeah. if you're at that, maybe this was a build up. And you know, motherfucker, I, I literally saw Free Anne Marie. Women yeah. were saying Free Anne Marie, <laughs> and like uh, the only thing she did wrong was let him live, I guess, or some shit. And I'm like, I don't know if y'all being funny or not, but that shit not funny. He like, lived. No. Oh, okay. I guess prior to this situation, like, yeah. you know, some women is really like, well, this is what you do when you play with Nick, when you play with people. Just Why stupid ass shit. Motherfuckers ain't responsible for they self. Gee, these are <laughs> the same women that say shit like, I'm single until it's a ring on my finger. These are the same <laughs> women that, that be out here talking about some, until he makes it official and gets you a ring. You can entertain whoever you want. Get that shut the fuck up, man. Y'all don't know what y'all want, man. She was <laughs> dead ass wrong for killing somebody. The thing is, if you just easily switch their brother in that, then it's a catastrophe. Let your what brother you get shot in the face oh, like by if a it bitch. To brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let your brother yeah. get shot. And you're gonna be out here talking about some y'all women crazy. Y'all then next thing you know, they're gonna be retweeting the shit that boys be saying, like, if I don't want the baby. Then you have it and you have it by yourself. Then they'll be like, see this shit like we be talking about me and been telling y'all, y'all don't want to listen. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Y'all women yeah. be tripping. And on, and on the inverse, I don't want to make it seem like, you know, we bash women because in the Tory situation, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I took you let him a, have it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I yeah. took up a man. So it's like, don't. And then they like, y'all, y'all think the, the women were saying, so y'all don't believe. Meg, but y'all believe the story with Anne Marie or whatever, and I'm like, niggas. The difference that niggas was unsure is because they both weren't saying what happened. You know what I'm saying? First, she didn't say anything. Then it was like not justifying it because I still think he did it. But you know what I'm saying? Like somebody got shot, and she said it was him. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I, I still, I still, I'm still on Megan's side in that situation yeah. until otherwise, until proven otherwise. So it ain't a women thing. Like niggas is objective over here. So don't think it's that. But this shit, I ain't no. It's it's very few reasons you should be taking motherfuckers' lives. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Not that not many reasons for a text too. I mean, <laughs> he was texting some other. That must have been a real estate. He must have been sneak this and hunting and texting some more shit. Gee, he must have said. He must have. I can't wait to get away from this bitch, Anne Marie. I love you. <laughs> he must have gave him HIV and he gave it to Anne Marie or, or something. Because I don't get it. That's stupid. <laughs> I'm not going. So I was going to say, as far as cheating, would you say if, if you get married, right? Would you give your girl a pass? If, like, do you think. How do I. Because I was thinking, like, do this happen with our generation? Like, before people get married, they be like, all right, go ahead and get your last little hoe out. Get a whole pass. <laughs> or something I don't like think that. that's real. You don't think so? I don't think women. I don't think I don't think women. Go ahead. What? Go, no, no, no. You go ahead. No, I don't think women. Uh, I don't think women really going to just sign up for that one. And two, I asked yeah. myself, I was like, would I want that? I was like, probably not. But at the same time, I did think, like, that could happen. Like, I don't know I why. I think that your thought is, I think we would always rather not know than know. Yes. I think, that's the difference. I think man, like, if it was like, all right, we getting the hall pass, we'll probably be like, if you ever take it, just don't tell me. Like, you, you, would, you would probably be like, let me know. But then you, when you hear it, it should be like. <laughs> but then, but you rather just like I just don't want to know when that shit go down. Like, oh if, shit! If you ever did it. <laughs> Imagine a girl coming home. And she she is happy as hell. Woo! What's up? Not ha- not she use that up. hall pass, man. <laughs> you that like, hall pass. Let me tell you. <laughs> thank you. Talk about some. Thank you. Right. Oh, the thank you will burn so much. <laughs> Talk about some. Thank you. I, thank I, you. I really needed that. I need. Oh, you'll be. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you be like you 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 needed that. 
you mean? You, you know what to say. <laughs> and like, it's just like, I cannot picture myself um, even being supportive, like, be like, well, how was it? Like, I can't, I just, I don't, leave me the I, fuck alone. I just, my thing of, I won't ever accept nothing I wouldn't, I wouldn't accept nothing I wouldn't want. You know what I'm saying? So if I ever like came, if it was ever a situation, it's like, all right, can I get a, uh, uh, like if I was to be like, can I get a hall pass? I would only anticipate that she wants one too. Yeah. Versus if I know I can't handle that, I'm not going to even ask. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I know I don't want a hall pass. I'm not going to yeah. be like, you want a hall pass? Because I can't handle that shit. <laughs> yeah. I thought about shit like that, but I don't know how. I don't know. I think it sounds good until you actually think a picture of it happening. <laughs> yeah. Like, we just <laughs> just put it out there like that. <laughs> you may yeah, have thought you like, wanted a hall pass until you thought about yeah, it. Somebody. Your girl walking in the house telling you how good the hall pass was and thank you for giving her one. <laughs> you know, I saw the movie Hall Pass. and I, Oh, yeah. That, did you see Hall Pass? Yeah, I think I, I did. I'm trying. Which one was they kept, it? It was like they, it was. I think it's only one. I think they kept trying to get some and they and they couldn't. No, I'm saying like I'm trying to see which movie it was because I'm I'm thinking uh, of that and Hot Tub I'm Time Machine at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of both of them. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, man, I was just thinking about that. I was uh, the second one. <clears throat> um, Jaden, little baby. All right. Um, again. <laughs> Okay, Jada took the right route. Okay, she ain't paying no attention right to whatever y'all doing. Okay. Um, Jada got cheated, you supposedly right. got cheated on. I mean, little baby supposedly cheated oh, on Jada. Jada. You know what? I'm yeah, Jada Wade or whatever her name girl, is. I'm just learning these people's names. No, you fine. I just I was thinking about excuse me, the porn star when you said Jada. I was thinking oh. about the porn star. No, not her, but he did cheat with a porn star. This girl named Miss London, which. If I'm going to say, man, I didn't watch Miss London myself, and she probably could ride the dick better than anybody else. Why does but everybody she go to the dick riding? She, like, uh, I seen her ride the dick, but I was just like... You I said you seen her? Like was, yeah, I seen, like, I saw her. I, had, I looked her up after I heard about yeah. it, and I'm just like, what's, I wasn't impressed. Because a lot of bitches can't ride dick like that is what it I is. Guess. I guess. Because they be look, doing that little look, hump and shit. Look at a video and huh? be like, that might look good, but it might not even feel good. Well, what? What? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm you know, like I, I feel like looking at a, <coughs> a, a somebody getting rolled in a video would be like, damn, that shit look like it's probably right. Because especially if you never had it, and it's like it may not even feel all that good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's that was my thought. I'm like, I don't see what everybody was hyped over. I mean, she got body, but she she her face is her face is her face is, is not shit. Yeah, she needs every she needs some acne. Uh. She needs some acne TikTokers to hit her up or some shit. Give her some tips. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was gonna say, uh, you you know, are you a fan of riding? Um, I don't have a problem with it. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't. As long as you ain't hurting me, shit. Yeah. <laughs> as that, long as it don't hurt, I'm good. Yeah. Girls <laughs> like that. Girls be saying they like Ooh, that grinding shit. That they no, now that hurts. That snail shit. <laughs> that that shit hurts. Oh, yeah, that shit usually that. hurts when you do that shit. Yeah, I'm not fucking with that, that one. Yeah, you I better ask a nigga before you start just up and doing that shit. That grinding shit hurts. It's a lot, man. <laughs> we we might have to like we might have to do like uh some type of sex. I'm trying to think, uh what the fuck I want to say. We might have to just Ask people like what's their favorite like sexual position and stuff like that because it's it varies because I'm sitting here thinking of like how how much my shit changed to like because of age like I remember <laughs> when I was like 20 I could be on the bottom and I'd be trying to like fuck up you know like they'll be on top and you trying I'm not doing that shit at almost 30 now like Why? You, it's just too Why? much work for me man <laughs> it's just so much work. I just be, no. I ain't got no problem with that shit. Yeah, man. I got that bad shit, I knees still, too. Still, <laughs> look at my knees. Yeah. Like, yeah, I just be having if you're gonna get on top, you committed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, my girl, oh no, man. No, no, you do we you both do old this. over here. We be doing Put your ass up. We be on um, nursing, nursing porn got, hub, old people got, porn hub, looking at their moves. I still uh, need to look up old people porn. I still oh, wonder man. what that look like. Man, gray hair. And like a dentures might movement. be, yeah. Oh, <laughs> like oh, oh shit, yeah, oh. man. It, it's gonna be a lot of old, like old white women on there when you look. It's gonna be a lot of old, like 
They ain't from America. I want to say I've seen a lot of they ain't from America. No, because they don't be from America. I be seeing a lot of old, and then it's not a whole lot. You'll see. You'll see going I after this. Just saw my first porn where they weren't speaking English. <laughs> yeah, I came across a flick where they weren't like they were straight Spanish speaking, and I've never. It's one <laughs> thing where she's bilingual and just throws it in, yeah. but they it was literally a spanish porn so <laughs> was when like, you watch I've porn do you watch the whole thing or do you just skip fuck no to, g i fuck, scrolled to what the fuck i'm looking for i feel like everybody g i feel like i uh, i watched the only scenario i like g i, I like the step parent step brother shit <laughs> <laughs> g I, I like that shit i don't know why <laughs> but i like that shit where like dude fuck his stepmom or his stepsister yeah. Like, I don't, gee, I don't know. That you know who the shit, king of that shit? It's this dude that named D or something. This little light skinned dude. I don't be paying attention. No, okay. Name. Well, this, well <laughs> I, I see this little nigga fucking this everybody. Little nigga Somebody. Set up. You say what? <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, this dude, somebody, I, I only said it because. the title, and if it say. Say, if it say that, then you just watching it. Because what? If it say step yeah, parent. I just watch it. <laughs> I know. If, if the quality good and and the the girl look good, then that's all that matter. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. We talk that about porn preferences for a but second. I like what? Now I'm saying we talking about porn preferences for a second. <laughs> Gee, like I um, yeah, I um, I I skip if uh, outside of those storylines, which I don't even watch that all the time, I just might get to right before shit. I hate when they, when she just sucking dick. I don't like watching none of that when shit. When it come on and she sucking dick. <laughs> yeah, I just, I hate that shit. Like, when you be eating booty and eating the pussy and shit, I don't, yeah. I be like, fuck, just get to the fucking and then <coughs> I just be like, just get to the good part and that's it. I find what looks like the best position. You know how you get a little snippet when you're scrolling? You know, be like, yeah. What's the best position it looks like they was in in this video? <laughs> Man, that's why I watch it. <laughs> I be going through a series of shit. Like, cut on. First, I, like, first I be seeing, like, like I, I don't like the straight come on dick sucking shit because I be watching the shit. Like, I be watching it, but no I don't. Story? No, I don't watch the story, but I be, like, watching, like, them come in and, and, un, and undress and shit like that. Then mm-hmm. I like fast forward and I go straight to the end and be like, did he nut on her face? And then that <laughs> generally, that generally tells me whatever what what day it is, that generally tells me if I'm gonna continue watching or not. Cause if she didn't get like some days I'd be like, I don't care what he do. Then some days I'd be like, I want him to bust in her face and or oh and she keeps sucking <laughs> dick. It. If she did do he that, on her face? <laughs> I'm like, okay, it's in the clear. Let's finish watching this video. You know what I'm saying? Why don't because, you just look up like facials and shit? Like because facials. when I do that, then it just be like straight dick sucking for oh. forty five minutes, and I just don't oh. be looking for that. Like <laughs> I be looking for like sex, but I want the end the way I want it to end. Sometimes yeah, like I need my ending to end. The I, way want, I want I want it to end with her sucking dick and he busting in her mouth. And he busting like, her face. Not that he busts on her booty shit. Like no busting her mouth because to, <laughs> I'm I'm like that to an extent though. <laughs> I got That's another fucking kid like. on the way, nigga. I don't finish on no butt cheeks, nigga. <laughs> Finishing somewhere warm. <laughs> no butt cheeks. You're a funny as shit. Finishing somewhere warm, nigga. Somewhere warm. Yeah, I got man. Look, but yeah. So, so I I, I just, do that. This uh this is a serious question. You could answer if you want. So, you're single, and you have money like little baby or more would you pay to fuck somebody no because you don't have to what if they i don't want to say i can see charge you as if like you ain't that nigga but there's just some women is like charging the fuck and it's like i want to fuck would you pay i don't know I don't Not know, that, man, because people try to say it when they ain't got it, but I feel like when you got the money. No, because I know cheap. You want to fuck? You like, fuck, I'll pay you to fuck. No, because to be honest, these bitches in the streets is cheap out here but, like no that's true but you fuck them without paying cash if you No, I'm saying not them. So, I'm talking about it's okay. One of my homies, the, the free okay. ass ain't going nowhere. No, let when me I'm, tell you this. Okay. Uh, one of my homies was going to get some ass off of Craigslist before. Okay. All right. This is true story. True story. This is 
That's why the forty dollar joke I made on Facebook was so funny to some of my friends because they like, yo, they know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, because they it almost went there for one of them before they almost got oh. some forty dollar coochie. Like, and one of them did get some forty dollar coochie. And like, when you wow. see these girls, you'll be like, wow, well, she wanted to fuck anyway though. She's selling if for you fuck for forty dollars. You wanted to fuck anyway. Well, this is what they doing. They selling pussy. They this ain't people that he oh, meet. Oh, that was their rates. Yeah, they selling. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They selling pussy. Is this was you, high school? This was like last year. Oh wow! For forty dollars? Oh yeah, nigga. You be surprised, nigga. I done been on. Okay, so I got two guilty pleasures that I do. Right. Wow. One I used to do. One I still do. One of them I go on idoc.com, Illinois Department of Corrections, and I search up just random names and I just look to see what niggas is in jail for. Then I look I've, to see how long they in there for. Random as in niggas you know? No, just any random nigga. Like, I will go to a last name. I'll be like, like, I went to my last name, right? And I looked up uh-huh. everybody who has the same last name as me and I looked up why they was in jail. And mm-hmm. I was like, I could tell you right now, it's like four niggas in there for life, for murder, and like the first ones I look up, I look up, the first one I look up is the, cause they got their date of birth on there. Mm-hmm. So I look up like the old niggas and be like, why is his old ass in jail? It's usually for like murder and they've been in there for like 20 years. So that's one thing I do. And I look up young niggas too. I'd be like, I wonder what this young nigga then did to ruin his life. And, but mm-hmm. I look up that. And the second thing I used to look up, I used to look up on like the porn, the escort websites and just, just look. Just be like, I wonder what they charge. And then I'd be like, I wonder, I went from, I wonder what they charge to, I wonder if I see somebody I know. So I started <laughs> searching areas like Dalton and shit like that. And mm. ho, lo and behold, I found like two people I went to high school with on there. Damn. Selling pussy. And one of them was $40. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's, their one dog is $40. Don't you know when you come to my house and you come down Halstead? Mm-hmm. When you get on hot, they sell pussy on Halstead. They sell Dude, it's it's a it's a broken gas station that women sit at and they sell pussy and it's like forty dollars. You know what's so crazy? Like I've never been like when I when I see like I've never like I'll just get to it. So like when I see movies and they be showing like what prostitutes and and shit look like, they usually be trying to get attention and they not always fine. But they mm-hmm. just, you know what I'm saying? They just look like they're trying to present themselves to look appealing, mm-hmm. whether they attractive or not. And in real life, every time I see somebody that is a prostitute, like when my dad used to point them out to me and shit, like, gee, they look like fucking crackheads. Like the ones that be on the street, like yeah. they look like crackheads. I'm like, yeah, they are. is this a prostitute or a crackhead yeah. or both? You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, so this is what real life prostitutes look yeah. like? Because that shit weak as well, hell. Well, now life changed. As we got older, like, <laughs> as we got older, like I said, we had, they had the websites when we was in high school. They had mm-hmm. the escort websites. So, like, the nicer looking women that wanted more money, mm-hmm. that was always on there. Now, in the hood, you gonna find, you might find a pretty little 20-year-old, but she usually on drugs, like you said. She usually, like, a crackhead. She just ain't deteriorate yet. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You go out west and L-Town, and it's a no K Town, and it's a street. I forgot what it's called. It's a street where it's nothing but prostitutes be out there, and um, it's one street where it be like uh, trans prostitutes out there. You oh, know what God. I'm saying? But it's never with you know like it ain't never like no bad bitch in the middle of the street. Like <laughs> I said, if you see one and she young, she a crackhead. Like she ain't out there because the ones Cause you that not, you're not finna be bad and yeah, you like you got a prostitute. You could do a whole bunch of other shit unless you're on drugs. <laughs> yeah. What 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 Kate I say? He said Instagram is the easiest way to get some pussy. That's where they at. That's where the fine ones at. They on Instagram. Mm-hmm. They on um the search. I mean on the search, the escort website. I forgot what it's called. I ain't searching it's, it's, in a while. There's plenty of avenues to find. Oh. Them. They shut yeah. Craigslist down. That ain't stop shit, man. They still all Wait, over. You mean like Craigslist don't exist right now? No, they shut Craigslist down for escorts. There was a lot of porn, uh-huh. uh, a lot of escorts uh-huh. coming through Pornhub. I mean Pornhub coming through uh, Craigslist. Craigslist. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, like to answer the question, it's like if if it's just regular me, then maybe. But if I'm little baby and I got that status, then maybe not because it's like your face can just get you pussy. That's why I said, like, if I was him, 
But if I was him, I, I what, probably wouldn't. Because because I think we know there's... But you say that, but it's like... I'm not trying to like make you change your mind or nothing. But mm-hmm. like you say like if your face can't get it, it can get it. It's like, what if you just... I get the stipulations. I get what you're yeah, trying to like, okay. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's other like, stipulations. I can't like, sit here and say I would never under admit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like when I thought about it, I'm like, now her, I wouldn't. But yeah. it's just be like, I can't sit here and be like, I don't get why niggas pay for pussy at times. Oh, no, I ain't never said that. I, I got, oh. like I said, I got niggas that pay for pussy. I told you, <laughs> I just said, I got niggas that didn't pay Especially for pussy before. Especially if it's like, I don't, well, what if you just don't feel like putting in the work to get yeah. in the ass? Look, you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, yeah. fine, and I want some ass. Can I just pay you? Like, <laughs> Yeah, it's stipulations. Like, for him, it was one, he got a girlfriend and he just didn't want to have to deal with, like, dealing with it. Like, Okay, for okay, I'll say this from like a dude that that know a dude that has seen dudes cheat before, right? Usually when you cheat, you get busted because the girl opened her mouth because she unhappy or you left her alone and she wanted to take it somewhere else. It it's not always like, okay, I'm finna go be with my family. And she be like, okay. You know, a lot of times mm-hmm. she be hurt, she get to sneak this into some other shit. You know, mm-hmm. so in order while you doing all of this. You basically got to keep her happy too. That's why I said cheating is just too much work. Cause now yeah. you you could find a little jump off that might just be like we just fuck and that's it. But that's just very so rare. Cause women just get attached and all type of shit. So now she might want to spend time with you and you can't cause you cause you 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 got a whole family or she wants you to buy her shit and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? By paying for pussy, that's you throw all of it out the way. Though. That's huh? when you lying though. What you mean? Excuse, all that shit come with when niggas lie. What you mean when you lie about what? Lie about your intentions. Like them celebrities, G, you think them niggas not out there fucking their life away? They know what you girls know what it is. Are you talking about like celebrity girlfriends? Yeah, not the girlfriends, the niggas that like them women ain't fucking celebrities because they want to be with them. They doing it to say they fucked them. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I always stand by that too, G. I've always said, I'm like, women act like men are so low. But we will fuck anybody regardless of status. <laughs> but women will act like they are the biggest whore for a celebrity, but yeah. won't fuck a nigga on the street that they approach them. But yeah. the moment they run into a celebrity, if he try to fuck, most of them gonna go. That's how that's how ugly niggas be out here most getting pussy. Of them gonna These go. ugly celebrities, and you got niggas most that are just we will dead ass deny a famous bitch. We'll be like, mm, pussy don't look hot enough. <laughs> like, gee, if Lizzo was like, if Lizzo was like, fuck me, I'm be like, I'm straight. I don't know. <laughs> man. I might take Lizzo down. <laughs> she had that ass pitch out there. <laughs> said, I don't know. Okay, well, okay, I'm not gonna go down. No, I like the big bitches. Women. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna go down and name them and make a list. Yeah, but I know. There are celebrity women where. Yeah. It's like, Dude, if Oprah like, told me if Oprah asked me to fuck, I would not fuck Oprah. G. Like, I'm sorry. She, I'm it, it is not because she old. It's just she's not attractive. Not her me. and Whoopi, like, it I'm good. It ain't, it ain't right. It ain't even an old thing. G is not because it's hella old. When yeah. Felicia Rashad is still pretty as hell. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it ain't even an old thing. It's just like, no. But yeah, I feel like a lot. I ain't gonna say oh, a lot of women uh-huh. probably won't say the same. G. They won't. That's how Bill Cosby is still getting ass. Bill Cosby's getting ass. Fucking <laughs> old as fuck. All these Hugh Hefner. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. Like, and, stop it. And and like when I be reading like the porn story, the porn, the Playboy stories, it be women talking about like I hated having sex with him, but you still did it. You still did it. Look, so you can just you, that means you did it more than once. <laughs> yeah. Talk about some. And you remember when when we was talking about like how we found out how like they said John F. Kennedy was having sex or some shit. Talking about he just yeah. lay there, like. Then when we was oh, doing that yeah. to say they fucked the president, they didn't give no fuck. They, they he giving out fuck trash dick endlessly <laughs> all the time, and y'all steady going to go fuck him. Like <laughs> you just doing they, it because they had an excuse because you know women thought the JFK was was good looking, so that was their excuse. They didn't care if it was trash. Yeah, like stupid. he fine, and that goes <laughs> with what we saying because as men, we don't give a fuck how fine you is if that coochie whack. Get the fuck back. The we don't fuck. want that shit. Go on so what, man. <laughs> now you conflicted me with the title of this episode. Because <laughs> women all... Because this is the thing. Women have all drug, jugged with... <clears throat> they get hit once. And they like, he just stopped talking to me. And it's like... As a dude, it's generally because a woman, you probably just... 
Why you after y'all fuck you like? You so what are we much. now? Yes. Or you that coochie was, was whack. Your shit was that trash. Co- yeah. So and like, ain't no nigga going like what the like women y'all always saying. How you know what's bad coochie? How do we know it? It's just like Same I don't you know. know shit. Dick. I huh? mean, I'm not gonna flex. I've I've said this on the episode before. I was like, I've had sex with somebody where I didn't enjoy it that yeah. much, but I've also not returned to it if it's been bad too. Yeah. <laughs> you know oh, what I'm man. saying? So usually it was on my darker days where I even wanted to get involved. So it's just like, but yeah, I've you... definitely been like, okay, that shit was trash. I'm not. No. Yeah. You ever been <laughs> in some coochie and couldn't wait to get out of it? You just yes. like, oh Bro, man. I, like, I, like, gee, I, it's been, <laughs> it's been one. <laughs> it was a time she was trying, like, she was trying to mess with one of my guys after, after me. And and he was like, yeah, she on it. I'm like, bro, it's not worth it. <laughs> like, bro, it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm like, you can do what you want, oh, G, man. but it's it's not that. Cr- it's not. Yeah, it's man. not what you wanted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, and it's like, you know, I he know like it ain't even like it wasn't like we shared girls before, but it's like we done both mess with the same girls and be- prior to this, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's just like. I have a very dirty past. I just, <laughs> it's okay. I have one too. Gee, I, used, I was, yeah, I, I used to be a hoe, man. I ain't gonna but it just you. sounds bad when I'm like, yeah, we both been fucked the same girls. Yeah. But it's just, it's, it's just that shit did happen in college. But um, yeah, I'm just like, yeah, bro, don't. Yeah, I never and... deny him any, but I'm like, you do what you want, G, but don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't. We, me and me and my homeboys and been there before, man. We didn't. Me and my homeboys and probably did everything except for like one thing that I know you did. I ain't gonna say it on the air, but we probably didn't did everything else. Like I didn't smash with my homeboy in the same room, all type of shit. Like I like G, I'm a, G. <laughs> man, look. He just reminded G the time. CKG. <laughs> oh, when he was talking about one of y'all was behind the couch or some Ooh, shit. He was, he was behind the couch, bro. This is had I had sex at that point. I think I was still I a virgin. I, was this high school? Yeah, it was high school. I don't even remember if I had had sex. It was yet. probably junior year too because Corey stopped hanging with us like that his senior year. He because Corey was yeah, and he I got was real at, busy with I was school. At North, yeah, yeah. So it was I, okay. So I probably I was still a virgin because I ain't losing to my senior year. So I was still a virgin. <laughs> Gee, this yeah. nigga is over there cracking across the couch, and I'm yeah. sitting in a chair. And the girl I was with, she like she's just on her knees looking at me, and she's like. She was like willing to suck my dick, and I'm like, okay, what you gonna do? Like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? She <laughs> just sitting there. She's like, what? I'm like, it's not gonna get hard with me just sitting here. Like, you're just looking at me. She like, I don't know what she and, out and put it on the She grill. looked good. She looked good. I but mm-hmm. I wasn't. I I I don't even. I would have thought. I I think I probably was too excited. But regardless, she didn't touch me, and I'm just like. Okay, so what are we finna do? Like you just sitting here yeah. looking at me, and she just like, I think I think I said you could kiss my neck, and she was like, I'm not kissing your neck. I'm like, you finna suck my dick? Like what are you talking about? Like I, I asked her to do something. She didn't want to suck it while it was soft or something. No, she didn't, and I don't. Uh, gee, clearly she was probably not used to this shit either, yeah. because I that I don't I never had head either, so I didn't know how it was supposed to go. Yeah. And she, and she <laughs> clearly didn't either. It's like, well, if you suck it, it's probably gonna get yeah. hard. And she didn't even consider that. And I, we just both sat there, and I just sat there and never got my dick sucked. So your dick no was ass. out? No, it never got. I didn't. Oh, no, okay. it never was out. So it was just like, I'm sitting here, my man's over there cracking, and they moaning and shit, and I'm just yeah. like, oh, fine. And speaking, speaking <laughs> the same, same women, like the same whole heat, the same girl he was cracking, he I cracked, cracked. You cracked, <laughs> like. <laughs> And while we're talking about non fire coochie, <laughs> <laughs> I just dropped my damn phone. Oh, shit, oh son. God. That could look. Oh, man. Hilarious. Like, as a kid, that shit probably was fire, but as an adult, I got that shit as an adult. No. <laughs> no, man. No. Because, you know, she don't have no body. So she, she just. Straight up and down, like mm-hmm. there's no, you know how some women have a drop off with their ass and it's just like nothing. It's just like a nothing, space between yeah. their ankle and their ass. It's mm-hmm. just straight shoulder to, to ankle with her, straight down. <laughs> no texture, <laughs> nothing. So no like she was valleys. riding G, and like I didn't know 
because I can't see. So I'm just like trying to hold it. I'm like, I don't you know if I'm on her back or her ass while I'm trying to hold her while she wow. riding. And my hands are like this, son. Like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> that coochie oh. was. She was oh. one. Now she was one of them that fits in this episode. She was talking about. She was like, "So you didn't, you ain't hit me back, because I hit it For once, real? and I was like, I'm not, I'm not, never, I would never commit to this well, shit you right said here. As a kid, you still didn't even give a fuck again. <laughs> now I'm talking about what CK was. He that shit was probably fire as a kid, oh, you know. Uh, but uh, me as an adult, once I got some coochie, once well, I didn't have her as a kid, but when I was an adult, and I got the ex, was supposed to be an experience, huh? Mm-hmm. No. No way, no bueno. That's no probably way. why she came from. I ain't gonna go down that route. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. oh my god, but at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, I think that 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 Miss London was bogus because I feel yeah. like part of the part of this is if he had a girlfriend, the exchange was for you to not yeah. say anything. I don't think it's like it's like she you, did it you for got, what you, you got, said. She wanted the clout. She she, wanted she got clout, paid, yeah, and she still yeah. wanted to just be like, "Well, y'all y'all know I fuck little baby." That's why she little tried baby. to put the little sprinkle on the time about the best dick I got. The Bitch, you didn't dick. fuck like four hundred people. You talking about <laughs> you this talking the about, best dick? This ever? the best dick. The it's last your, dick maybe you got. It's, it's the your best dumb dick. ass. That's like no no homo. Yeah. Like I hate that. Ain't no even no homo because it ain't gay. Look, so it's this girl on my Facebook. She makes a post. She say, "All y'all do sending me dick pictures," and she like. Just so y'all know, if it ain't nine inches, I don't want it. So, like, me being me, I didn't comment. I don't comment on people's stuff no more. Like, I just look and I just be like, this is stupid. So, mm-hmm. I Google, I say, percentage of men with nine-inch dick. Right? small percentage. Bro, it's like 2%. And I'm just like, yeah. how many nine-inch dicks have you seen? Like, I'm just sitting there thinking, like, where are she, you finding this? Either one, she's just of, spitting out a number, or two, she out wasn't number. serious. She just had to be spitting out a number. Because I'm like, where are you finding yeah, this line like of nine-inch dicks? This is either dicks. a joke. This is either a joke. Or you just don't know what you're talking about. Because You know what I'm saying? Like, but she said I think that, women, women really, like, I remember, like, in high school, girls would be like, like, what, what's a good size dick? They'd be like, about eight inches. I'm like, you don't even know what you're talking about. You don't know how big dicks are. Yeah. You don't know. You've never put a ruler to one. We put rulers to them. We Countless put times. a dick. So <laughs> don't don't sit here and give me that. <laughs> you as don't a man, know an average dick. I you feel like as a go ahead. eight inch dicks every other month. So I stop. feel like as a man, every I said I feel like every man has Google the average size of a penis and then took a ruler to his dick to see how exactly far, how in much that, bigger or if you would you know, They'd be like, huh? okay. Order. And what percentage <laughs> got this? <laughs> All right. All right. In okay. that order. What are you talking about? Like, the challenge is getting that girth, nigga. Getting that girth reading <laughs> is <girth>. the challenge. <laughs> I read this. I had nigga ass like, get a string, wrap it around, mark it with a marker, unravel it. That's the girth. Nigga, I, nigga, I've been there before. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, yeah. like, women just be... <laughs> I don't find it very strange to believe you have 400, like all these dicks at these, granted, every girl don't think like the biggest dicks means the big, best sex, but like the best sex, right? But like, come on, man, like little baby of all people, you so you mean tell me he needs to have a backup career in porn? This nigga, <laughs> this nigga, little baby, oh, not only makes oh, hit songs, geez. but he needs to be hitting bitches <laughs> on camera. He said, not only the best hit songs. Come on, man. Just stop this it, Miss London. Not only make hit songs. Stop it, man. <laughs> uh, you and know he's out here delivering the best dick. But to go, the man, I'm saying ever had. Like he just surpassed everybody that's <laughs> doing this shit for 15 years. <laughs> I was watching a Brian Pumper interview not long ago. This oh, nigga shit. says, after I have sex, I go beat my dick. You telling me little baby is delivering better dick than niggas <laughs> like that? Come on, man. Hey, that's oh. wild if he feel that way. I, I Come on, man. That's him. that's ridiculous. His Does dick... he not finish in his porns or something? He said he fi- he just he just has uh, it's not it's like it's not the same. Probably. He's obsessed with sex, is what he said. So so is the obsession the sex or is the obsession beating off? Like because no, nah, he just sex, period. He like just anything sexual. He like so he like go do I'll be my flick. That, that's dick. what I thought, but then he said, "Like you get a satisfaction from watching porn because he like you get to oh. go to exactly what you want, like how we just talked about, like what we go to." 
He said, like, you can get to go yeah. there. He was like, you got to, yeah, when you had sex, you got to like, uh, now nah, I have to eat coochie. I might have yeah, to. He's more, so, this he's more so performing than having sex. Yeah. I, I guess, think. I guess that make a little bit of sense. But yeah, it's niggas like that. And <laughs> little Baby, I got all on beat. It, it was crazy. I sat there when I when I thought about the girl and she said nine inch dicks, right? I was like, and I looked at the percentage, which may be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's more than 2%. But it may be like five. I don't think it's like 20. But um, I started to notice. I'm like, damn, it is the same niggas in every porn. Every black, because I'll be looking at the black dudes. It's the same black niggas in every porn. I don't pay that much attention. Like, I, I noticed Brian Pumper because he looks distinct to me. But a Lord lot of Banks times, Jr. I really <laughs> a lot of times I don't notice nah. the nigga. Now, next oh, time you, cases. the next times you look, just look at black porn, right? You don't got to look at them. Just look when you're scrolling. Look I mean, at the, the, the actors, and you're gonna be like, "Damn, it's this bald head nigga again." That, that's why it's yeah. like a meme. It's like if your girl know who he is, she nasty. And He's I mean, like, it's I mean, it's the same because I like I know female porn stars, but I don't know yeah. niggas like that. I like I, you know, I think about Lacey Duvall and yeah. all these videos. I'm sure it's niggas that been in just as many. Yeah. Well, so. the difference that I'm talking about is women can come in. You can be anybody. You could be a porn star for women. As a woman, man, yeah. you know, like I said, the percentage is so low. That's what I'm saying. Like maybe is that why I'm seeing the same people on all these websites because the numbers are, you know. Yeah, it's probably this man with, with, with dicks. That yeah, to have feeling. the porn you star. Dick. dick porn. Huh? I'm sure there's little dick porn. You know, I looked there's that up and I just, everything. I didn't I'm see sure. nothing. It's they probably a website a for it. I, I didn't I, see nothing, man. A website dedicated. But I mean, even okay, even if it's not, there's some porn where you be like, the nigga ain't got no dick. <laughs> yeah. It's this one nigga that be slaying bitches. Son got like five <laughs> inches and he be out here just, yo, he's all over, uh, Everywhere, fucking BBWs, thick bitches, wow. tall bitches, and I'm just and they like, owning their life away. <laughs> he be handing it to him, like, oh my god. <laughs> he, All right, so <laughs> we want to move on. We've been on this shit for a minute. Oh shit! All right, so um, I know y'all motherfuckers uh saw already, but this this the the, the Meek Mill shit pissed me off. G. So you said you don't know what happened? Yeah, I don't know what happened with Meek Mill. So Meek Mill. The this is the only fuck up I blame him on. The only thing I blame him about is recording this. So he was in Atlanta. He was in the car. He saw the, uh, some boys uh, selling water for a dollar. Um, he gave them a dub for one bottle of water. Meek Mill gave. I guess it was. I don't. I didn't see the video. I just heard it. So supposedly it's like five to seven boys selling water out on the street in Atlanta. He rolls down his window. He gives the boys a dub. For a piece one or just bottle. one dub? No, one a, a dub for one bottle of water that costs right. a dollar. So uh, they like, man, what you got my money, make me up, blah, 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 get some money. Blah, blah. They, <laughs> they, they, was, they was ungrateful. He like, yeah. man, y'all split that. Blah, blah. He's like, y'all split that, man. Whatever. And they was upset. And social media is either like, why did you record it? Why didn't you give more? I Wait, Meek Mill recorded him giving a dub? That's why I said I blame him. He now if the Fucking kids idiot. recorded it, <laughs> I would not have any problem with what he did. But he, him recording it was kind of uh, you gave. What did he think like, he was doing? <laughs> that's my thing. I'm like, okay, you Meek, like you Meek Mill, you gave him a dub. A dub is still if you were even. I don't have a problem with him giving him twenty dollars because that's me a two hundred percent profit. Like nobody yeah. on no other person was going to get y'all twenty dollars for one bottle of water. Mm -hmm. I don't care if he meek meal, he gave y'all twenty dollars, and that might have literally been the last bit of cash on him. Yeah. I don't think he's riding around with fifteen thousand dollars in cash. So I didn't care, but motherfuckers is like I literally got in a back and forth with somebody like you you. You could have gave them more. What dollar amount would have satisfied you? If 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 two hundred percent ain't good enough that's for you, that's more than two hundred percent, son. <laughs> like yeah. like, bro. If 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 that's if twenty dollars, he bought nineteen bottle. bottles of war, extra bottles of water. Could have been. He only and took I, one. Yeah, and then motherfuckers like he talking about. He told them to split it. Y'all are missing. Him saying split it is yeah. better than if they sold one bottle of water for one dollar. Yeah. What are you talking about? And you said that's like, five people. I was sitting here just doing the math. I'm like, he just gave everybody three dollars each. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they, and they all they all literally got three dollars more, two dollars more than if they sold one each. Yeah. What are you talking about? He literally made y'all day a little bit smoother. 
yeah. a little bit. That that excuse that damn near could have made that could have been more than they got that whole day. Nigga, it's 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 Georgia, but it's still fucking December, G. It ain't that hot. Yeah. So <laughs> like motherfuckers ain't buying water off y'all like that. So what is y'all mad at? I'm like, G, if he gave five if he gave five hundred dollars, I think people still wouldn't have been happy. Why you ain't give a thousand, me? <laughs> <laughs> Meek, you're Meek Mill. You like, be throwing bands at the club. G, throw no, bands at kids. You, you don't even, motherfuckers said that. They like, if these rappers could throw thousands of dollars in the strip yeah. club, how you can't get these, get these boys some. I'm like, y'all shut the fuck up. If he did mm-hmm. shit like that all the time, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't have no money. If he yeah. just gave everybody that needed it $10,000, he wouldn't have no money. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I just don't know why Meek Mill recorded that. I don't get what the fuck he thought that's, he was that doing. That was stupid. That was stupid. What the I, de- I don't get why he did like, that. Like, if it I was mean, one kid, yeah, but when it's like five kids, it's like, nah. <laughs> if it was one kid, you could probably got away with it. Yeah. But five kids, it's yeah. like. And it's worse that nah. he said y'all split that. Yeah. It, it, like it's a hundred dollars and shit. Bad. It, just, right, it just sounds bad, <laughs> even though it's look, still more than a dollar. It is. It's just like it's just it's that when you gotta know when to pick your battle shit. Cause it's yeah. like I get it, but it's like you know we finna chop this up and make this sound so bad. Cause it's like <laughs> it's like you talking about y'all split that. Like if I was out there and I was one of them kids and I felt like that, yeah. that if I felt like them, I'd be like me. This three dollars a piece. What the fuck do you think you just did for us, yo? Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm talking yeah. about some. You split that, like, like it's a. We thought you gave us a hundred dollars. Wrong bill, dickhead. Yeah. What's the what's the hundred right, dollar bill? Know what you gave? <laughs> yeah, like, but if it was one yeah. kid, then it'd just be like, okay, yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. You yeah. just, but like five. You talking about split that? That's like, yeah. what, nigga? <laughs> right. That's what he shouldn't even say split that because it's like, okay, y'all go buy, have. y'all buy a three dollar case of water. You know what I'm saying? Y'all still made hella bread to sell more water and get more money. I mean, you, you could have just saying? explained yourself. You could just you even or you could just lie. Just be like, that's all the cash I got, fellas. I gotta go. Yeah, th- yeah. Like this is this is the last bit of cash on me, which goes further than if he gave them three hundred dollars. Yeah, like it's like this is literally my last of cash here. Yeah, you know and and that, and to me personally, I think that was the last bit of cash he ho- had on him. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but even if it's not, like, maybe he has something to do with his fucking money. Yeah. He, I ain't gonna lie. When I give low bills, I do explain it. Like, when I, I'm on the corner... You do. I, I was with you when you did it, nigga. What? When we went to get food one time, you gave somebody some money, G, and you was like, yeah, I would. You was like, I got... Oh, yeah. I'll, See? You explained yourself. Yeah. I was like, I would give you more, but I gotta go get laundry or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, you explained, and yeah. you wasn't even lying. So, it was yeah. just like... I, was I ain't like, saying niggas gotta do that, but I do do that, and Meek Mill, by you being a millionaire, you'd have been in front of so many cameras and, and had to watch what you say so much... You didn't did this on your own camera. <laughs> you didn't do the shit properly. Like, yeah, don't yeah. don't get on Snapchat. No, don't get on yeah, no. Don't, don't record no nothing way. anymore because you, you might make yeah. a bad decision, man. I, I I just I would just I think it was his last bit of yeah. cash. That was was that's was that's that's what was up, Meek. Just just you shouldn't have said <laughs> split that though. No, that's like <laughs> it's spit in the face when niggas know you got millions. <laughs> Talking about split a dub. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what happened with Cardi B? Cardi B, man, she was like, so she was on, she was on, y'all stop counting these niggas' pockets. That's where all this is coming to. Cardi B said on Twitter, I guess she said, um, I don't know if I want to buy this 88K bag of Birkin. She wanted to buy it. She was basically asking, like, should I buy this 88K Birkin? Mm-hmm. And motherfuckers like, it's a pandemic. How you out here spending $80,000 on the bag and people are blah, 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 blah and all that shit. <laughs> Because Cardi B and everybody knows she's still making hell of money. Because Cardi got fucking money, and if she wants the bag, she can get the bag. And I, I mean, get granted, it is a flex. But mm-hmm. if you don't like it, shut up. G <laughs> her fucking husband out here buying twenty thousand dollars shoes. If she, if she, if y'all don't like the flex, shut up. I mean, personally, I, I think it's ridiculous to pay eighty k for a bag, even if I had it. But that's yeah. what she wants to do with her money. Dang. Excuse me, but and then she goes to say, all right, since y'all talking shit. Show me the receipts of whatever charity y'all have donated to. I don't know if she said a time frame. Show me the charities you donated to when I'm a match it. Put your money where your mouth is type shit. She like, since y'all telling me to do other things with my money, I'll buy my bag and do what the fuck yeah. y'all talking about. She going to have to I match $2,000 in charity. I'm certain, 
niggas, niggas ain't coming. Tops, tops. So niggas I'm gonna so, be putting their little uh, fives and tens together. Dude, I'm, I'm almost certain that as many people that was heckling her over that didn't <sighs> show her no receipts. I bet you most of the people that had something to say about what she doing with that money would not. Niggas always want to tell receipts. people what to do with their money. And to be honest with you, Cardi B and all these Cardi B, Meek Mill, they are they got they more money even, than us, but they at the bottom of the rich shit. G, they not. That's facts. They not even that's up facts. there. Like you want to talk about some money that's in rap. The only people you can really talk about is Eminem, Jay Z, and Dr. Dre. That's it. That's facts. But not only that, are they on the lower end of these niggas with money? G, they're not even the they're not even the people that don't look out for people like. Cardi and Meek, whether they publicly say it or not, for one, they're for the people. Yeah. Like whether it's monetarily Max. or vocally, politically, like Cardi been out here. They like, both did all three of them before. That's feel me. You know what I'm saying? Like none of them are out here like not doing shit for people. Even you know a lot of people do it and don't say shit. Like Jay Z, he don't even say half the shit he do. Yeah. But they don't say shit either. But they've done shit. So it's like stop. Yeah. Leave them alone. You ain't got no reason to be worried about how they're spending their money. Y'all like Cardi anyway. I mean, granted, I feel like if you chastising her, you probably don't like her as it is already. Yeah. So ain't no changing they, those people, man. But they not out here just not doing shit. Me, motherfuckers got Meek at Meal. T- Meek at Meal. <laughs> <coughs> Mad at Meek when he was talking about y'all niggas end y'all beefs and I'm going to put Philly on. That didn't make sense. To, I get it, but I, it did still don't make sense in the grand scheme of things. He said, put end job beefs and I'm put Philly on. You ain't hear about that? He was basically, in a lack of, in layman's terms, he was basically telling Philly niggas like, you know, like basically like the rappers or yeah. any artists or type shit. Like, you know, I think it was shortly after the shit with Vaughn. It's All like, right. it's like, you know, whatever y'all got going on, like if it's going to get you, basically like stop doing shit to, yeah. to, to fuck your life up. And I'm finna start getting niggas on, putting niggas on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To get niggas out of poverty, basically. And niggas in Philly was treating him like. Yeah, that don't make no sense for him to say. That's why I said Meek just needs to shut yeah, up. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> He's just making I, bad no, That's why I say I get it. I get how yeah. they feel. But the sentiment ain't wrong. Yeah, it, you, you know what I'm saying? No, because he from Philly and he know exactly. This is the right, same nigga that right. tells you That's you don't I'm have saying. an option. I and you going to tell that. them. Like stop them. it! You just told but everybody on every record that you couldn't stop because you because you because you had because of your circumstance you just was on the records you was just telling the judge you was just on TV when you was pleading your case saying like this is why I had to carry a gun this is how I end up getting caught when you mm-hmm. carry a gun so now you telling these same people in these same circumstance that you just said was so fucked up and you couldn't get out of you telling them like yeah just stop like now you sound like the people you just was taught trying to get out of the jam with. So exactly. that's why I said, like, you from Philly, you should have just never said that. That's that's stupid on his behalf to say that. It he should just been like, let's come together. I'm finna start putting each other on. You know and what you I'm saying? You didn't have to publicize that aspect. You didn't but, have to say that. Cause like, you know, I'm always a nigga. I'm like, you can't tell like gun violence, you can't tell gang violence and gun violence to be like, y'all just stop. Yeah. It don't work like that. And I'm I always say that. But the thing is, I at least he came with like, I'm gonna put you on. Mm-hmm. So you could stop versus, excuse me, you know, niggas out here like Chicago wins mad at the gun violence and they like, y'all got to stop killing each other. I'm like, well, what the fuck is you offering them to make them stop yeah. living the life they live to live? But Meek being you know, Meek is just like. But at, the, but at the least he offered them something, which is why I get why he said it. But I don't blame the niggas for how they feel. For but me. it's like this. I don't it's like me. this. The niggas in Philly like. When you gonna put somebody on? Like you saying that now, but when is how soon does this happen? Like, I mean, Meek, what, what Meek he rollout is is, like is just and shit, huh? Wasn't he trying to do that with niggas? Like Snoop, Snoop? not even from uh, Philly. Oh, yeah, well, like Meek, okay, Meek well, rolled out with his design, ideas. He, it ain't like he wasn't trying to put niggas on. I don't know who he was putting on from Philly. You know, I know no, a no, lot no, of. I mean, I mean in general, not Philly. I mean, yeah, yeah. uh. That was he had dress that I'm gonna say dress the shine. He had to do uh. Now he had Lil Snoop and that was that was it. He had Lil Snoop and he got uh, what the fuck is dude name? His one homeboy and he not even really that hot. Um, he got like one song. What the fuck is his name? Oh, Melly. He not O'Melly. even that. Hot. Okay, I remember him. Yeah, but that's about it. And that's like his best friend. 
But I just think like Meek rollout was trash. Like Meek, I respect what he's saying. It's just like me being so small, I can see like how you should just not say it like that. Like me could have easily just put somebody on first and be like, yo, this is what we doing now. You know what I'm saying? You got to tailor your message a whole lot better. You can't be no street better, nigga yeah. saying that to no street nigga. Because now like when you go in the that, hood, now they like looking at you goofy. Did with Vaughn. Like, yeah, just, like, nigga, shut exactly. Up. It's, you supposed to be a street nigga. Shut the fuck up. We we damn near think you're not from the street no more, T.I. with the <laughs> shit you saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But like, Meek just got to have a better rollout. Like, the shit with the camera, with the kids, he should scrap that. <laughs> like, the way he just said that, he should scrap that. Meek should just, he could have simply just been like, yo, we finna start putting each other up. Because now when you say that, it's always people that's really trying to do music for and they like, well, Meek, when you gonna come look over here? When you gonna That's come? True. Cause yeah. you just said you gonna put us on. When it, mm. now every day you post something, niggas gonna be like, when you putting? When's when you time? gonna post somebody to, from the hood? You know, you niggas said you was gonna do rapping. this. Yeah, <laughs> you can't just give out a. You can't. The reason why he can't do it because he's telling you to stop because he's gonna come save you. So it's like niggas is just waiting on you to save somebody. If you didn't save nobody instantly, especially. It's just like, yo, you just talking. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's why I think he should have introduced it like, yo, I got him. I got room for more. We just got to slow it down. Because Meek is Meek Mill. He has a voice. Meek Mill, once he gets you and he, you in the street and he, you talented, you know what I'm saying? Because that's going to be the thing. You could say, I'm going to come save you, but you know you only want talented people. So once mm. you get that talented that's person that, that's moldable, you could sit there and say like, yo, yo, you're really good. I just need you to just, you know, don't play the street. I'm going to take care of you. I got you. Just do this and we're going to be good. Literally. You know, just to speak out loud like that, like niggas going to be like, you not. It's, it's some weak rapper right now, right then in the basement. Like, he not saving me. I'm, <laughs> you know, like, it's not going to be believable like that. Yeah. But yeah. speaking of fucked up shit, uh, niggas talking. First off, J. Cole is wild. J. Cole wild, man. What happened like, with J. Uh, so they said that somebody from, it's not solely just J. Cole. I just think what he did was wild. Uh, somebody from Dreamville supposedly said J. Cole was supposed to drop his album what was it yesterday night? Yesterday so, at 12 a.m. So I looked at 12, right? No mm-hmm. album. You know what J. Cole drops? A fucking oh. video for Firing Squad. Dog, this video, like, this song, like, this song is like, I'm You're not lying. lying. This nigga is so You're fucking lying. wild, dog. You're lying. Look, G, the video Wait. is even <laughs> old. Look. J. Cole don't even have dreads in the video or long hair. He has a little bitty fro. I'm like, why the fuck would you drop this? It's on his YouTube. So it's like legit. Gee, I never heard when I when I saw when I saw somebody post like, oh shit, I'm finna stay up till 12. Yeah. Cause they cause of the, the trend. So I'm like, yeah. oh shit. I, I got up yesterday. I looked for it. I, I was like, oh, I mean today. I was like, oh shit, he ain't dropped nothing. Okay. Yeah. I didn't Me? I, you know, I love J. Cole, but I'm not yeah. like that. So I'm just like, oh, okay. But I didn't know he did that. Yeah, man. Me, <laughs> me, Trail, all us was up like, where's it? Where's it? I was like, it's time. Fell. It was like when the PlayStation dropped. I was like, all right, go now. Go now. Trail looked on <laughs> Apple Music. I'm on Spotify. Chris on YouTube. Nigga, nothing. Nigga, like an hour later, I go on J. Cole. Uh, J. Cole, I get a notification from J. Cole shit because I'm subscribed. He like, new video. It's a fire and squad. I'm like, G, oh. he released all the shit from fucking all his old shit. He always more than fire and squad. G. This is fucking the, the Friday Night Lights type shit. I'm a, what the fuck? Gee, this nigga and got videos. Li- Gee, it's a video for Sideline Story, Fire Gee. Squad, Lost One, Simba, Workout, Can't Get Enough. He need his ass whooped. Nobody's man. perfect. <laughs> Gee, all oh, one day ago. All why do he think ago. we want to go back and watch those videos, man? Gee. Why, I mean, I'm going to watch them. Were these, were these <laughs> videos never released? I think, I know Fire Squad was never released. Lights, lights, please. Did that had a video, didn't it? No, sideline story had a video. Lights, lights, please. I think lights, please, might have had it. Can Simba you... had a video before this. Simba video, old as fuck. I remember Maybe he's just trolling us. Who that video? Oh, yeah, gee, all of these had he had videos. Uh, these videos out already. No, oh, I, you I mean, didn't like, see he fire squad. posted them, but they yeah. were out because I remember so, this Simba video and lost ones, and I remember workout. Maybe he's trolling us. I hope so. I, you know what? Maybe he did that because of the rumor. He's like, oh, I ain't dropping no... I'm going to put this old shit out there. I'm going to put this old shit. Gio's so mad last night. I'm like, 
Gee, this nigga really got on his computer and went to an old ass file and said, drop this. Like, bitch, where's the new music? <laughs> you gonna drop these old ass be, fucking videos. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's gonna be tonight or something. Gee, maybe. I was so fucking mad. Maybe you gonna I do seen, it at 11.59 tonight. I seen these fake J. Cole fans talking about some Oh, yeah, he ain't dropped the album, but he heating up. I'm like, nigga, this shit old as fuck. What are you talking about? Heating Wait, up. Wait, G, motherfuckers thought this was new music? G, yes, they talking about some, talking about some, yeah, he really, he really heating up. Now nah, it's coming. Like, this shit old, nigga. Some of that shit, <laughs> hey, nigga, Simba is 10 years old, <laughs> nigga. It say, came out like 09, 08, month, maybe 10 at the latest. Oh, my Motherfucker God. talking about some heating up. This old ass shit, man, gone, man. This shit oh need to be God. heated up. Yeah, I ain't saying oh, maybe, like it's whack. I'm, I'm just mad because I wanted I'm new J. Cole. I needed to be preached to. I needed to go to church. I needed those <laughs> lessons. I need J. Cole, those your stories. church. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, I I personally I like Kendrick more. Um, but J. Cole is is right. It's like him and Nas, Nas and Jay with me. Like Nas is my favorite rapper, but I mean, Jay-Z is the best J. Cole rapper alive to me. Gonna be the, the next Nas and Jay-Z. I believe so. I think that I think I don't it's, think it's I no think one it's closer. And them niggas young as shit, so they got yeah. time too. Yeah, that's, that shit's scary when you think about Especially how young they was making that Especially shit. J Cole, I think I'm older than him, if not the same age. Who J Cole? If no, 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 I'm tweaking. He a little bit older than me. He like a year or two older than yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, mm-hmm. Kendrick, I think he might only Kendrick be a year mid thirties, right? Oh, I don't even 30s, know. He got to be older than J Cole. Now I'm finna look this shit right. up. Okay, so um, while you looking that up, could you? No, you can't. <laughs> you already know. I was gonna ask you to do the impossible. Thirty-three. <laughs> Kendrick is thirty-three. Oh, that's all I admit. Oh yeah, he ain't that much. J Cole probably like thirty-one, thirty-two. Um, J Cole so, is thirty-five. What? Get the fuck yeah, out of here. Nineteen eighty-five. Nineteen eighty-five. I damn. Why I ain't even put that together? January twentieth, nineteen eighty-five. It yeah, just be tripping me out that I this nigga put... is so tall, man. This nigga is 6'2". That shit just reminded me when I seen you say, man, the fact that the Drake is like 33 makes me sick. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah Drake, I, think, I think he like 32. Yeah, Drake 30. 30 he 34 now. 34. Gee, yeah. that shit is sick. No, like... we're sick. I'm looking now. <laughs> nigga, 21 Savage is only 28. The baby only 28. Big nigga, Sean Cardi only 30. Cardi B like 27. Yeah, that shit. 28. Cardi B like 28, 27. Nigga, Meg is 26. Nigga, we finna be older than the people we admire. <laughs> now, look, I just wanted to, while we saying this, look, if y'all ever felt like y'all weren't in a good space in life, never feel negative until you start looking up yeah. these lists of celebrities and see their age. Anybody yeah. else in the regular world, you all good. But you can feel a little bad when you see 28 year old Cardi worth of M's and you only making 50K a year. <laughs> <laughs> Selena Gomez, Ariana Grande, 27, 28. Bro. Come on, man. Oh, man. Offset it's, only 28. I'm older than it's, him. It's, G, are we older than all the Migos? Nah, just imagine. We, we were to school with them. We are than Cardi. We are than Meg, 21 Savage, NBA, Lil Baby. Yeah. D- nigga, half these niggas people talking about, I think Uzi. I think Uzi. Shit. Yeah, Uzi too. Like nigga, we we older than and that shit makes me sick. <laughs> nigga, I was feeling that when I was Bow Wow only three years older than us, and I was looking at him. I'm like, man, he's my it, age. Who's he only twenty six? Gee, that shit is sick. Gee, That's Trippy Red sick. is only twenty one. <laughs> G, it's gonna get worse. Don't wow. keep looking at it. You're gonna get more and more upset. <laughs> You're only wow. going to get more. It make you feel like you didn't do shit with your life you when you feel see like these your youngsters. Life has been <laughs> like, Why didn't I start rapping at three? <laughs> My nigga, Tariq, Tariq from Power is twenty. He's not even able to drink yet. G, Tariq is twenty. <laughs> By the way, I don't know how you didn't like Power Book too. I just got on it and I like. I ain't gonna lie, be watching it, but it's because it ain't nothing else to watch. All right, nigga, you watch. No, it, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's nothing else to watch. I like it. I, I like it. I don't love it because it's kind of. I don't love it. I do like it. Like I literally watched. It's it. watchable. I happy. Yeah, I was happy watching it. You, I, you, I liked it. I'm a complainer, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you gotta you gotta tell me about this Vlad before we go. Because okay, yeah. So oh, Vlad getting people locked. Yeah, up. Yeah, so they're saying Vlad getting people <laughs> locked up. Um, 
I got a, a homeboy that I did my first rap with ever. Me and him was talking about it on, on Twitter, and I told him I'll bring him on an episode. But I don't know if I want to do the rap episode with him, boy, bring him on here, because he is somebody good to talk to. But also, mm-hmm. he be rapping his ass off, and, you know, that's like okay. that's like the first person I ever rap with, so I think that would be tight for a first yeah, episode. That'd be, yeah, that would make sense. But um, he was saying that – I was going to ask you how you felt about this. He said that – um. It's certain questions that Vlad shouldn't answer, and I just ask. I don't. He they shouldn't. He shouldn't ask. I mean, you ask. Do you agree with that? Because to me, I don't. No. I don't really get that. He's no. an interviewer. Like, yeah, I was gonna say, like, I mean, unless they come in with a, you know, because usually when people go to shit like, that, I don't know about Vlad, but mother, I think he said he don't take anybody if they do it. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, if you come in there like, don't talk about this. I feel yeah. like he won't interview you if I'm not mistaken. If he go, if you try to come to him, like, don't ask these. If they, if they, excuse me, they, they, uh, agent tells them or the label be like, don't ask, don't talk about this. I don't think he'll interview him at all. So mm-hmm. I don't think that that's no. If you're an interviewer, you no, you can't tell an interviewer don't ask something. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, if you don't want to answer, that's on you. But you, you don't tell an interviewer you can't ask certain shit. There's been plenty of like gangster people that have been on Vlad TV and they were just like skate around his questions or just not ask like they'll be like it'd be niggas that every video they're talking about their crip and everybody be like so i see you got a blue rag with you are you associated nah i just like blue vlad this is just my favorite color <laughs> like but then yeah. you got other niggas that look into the camera and they want the world to know what the fuck they're doing they say yeah i'm a crip i've been a crip my whole life you know yeah. so like Y'all know what y'all saying. Y'all, and y'all, y'all, y'all act y'all like at. he don't got... Let me see how many fucking subscribers First Vlad of all, got. not even know what you're saying. You know where you at, G. Exactly. You know where you at. Vlad TV, I feel like you reaching more of the people you even want to reach on Vlad than like a Breakfast Club. Like Breakfast Club talk to a lot of people, but you talking to people that probably don't even know who the fuck you is. But if you on yeah. Vlad, you damn near know who you looking at. G, Vlad, I, mean, I think the audience is, is way different. Too, cause Vlad, it I, yes, it's yes. just the it's just not just. I think Breakfast Club got more of the urban and black people. Vlad, it's got everybody on there. Vlad got four million really? subscribers. I would think, gee, I think Breakfast Club got more of everybody, and Vlad has the urban people. I I would literally say the opposite. No, nah, because, because Vlad got more of the rappers. Radio. They're the radio. Huh? But I'm, I know that. But I'm saying they're a hip hop radio though. Radio. Syndicate is what I'm right, saying. But Vlad, Vlad is. Most of his best shit is with gangsters, nigga. Like, his best, like, the shit people want to see Vlad is niggas that's, like, going to just talk candidly. The Breakfast Club, motherfuckers not going there talking candidly on a regular. But the thing, the thing, the difference is when the Breakfast Club get other people that's outside of hip-hop, the numbers are not even that high. Unless it's like a politician. But Vlad's but are steady. And it because Vlad... He don't get politicians. No, he don't. He don't. But he get other people. He don't get politicians. He get like, I think Joe Rogan was on there. He get UFC fighters. He get like rappers. He get. But he get other people, people outside of hip hop. Media space. You say who? Outside of hip hop. That's why I said media space. So your your audience is way more targeted versus somebody that's driving to work and wants to hear the latest news or the latest gossip or just hear the latest music on the radio. Like everybody don't look at the Breakfast Club the way we do. Even Vlad though. got more subscribers than you. No, I, I, no, for certain. No, for sure, G. I'm not doubting no, that. No, no, like, no. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Hold the on. Breakfast Club has more? It's only like, I think Breakfast Club 4.6, Vlad is 4.3 million. That ain't a lot. But, but then again, with me saying the strength of Vlad, that's that's, that's four Club. people putting together for one, sin, for one, you know what I'm saying, a powerhouse, and it's just Vlad. There's nobody else with Vlad. It's just Vlad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm only saying... My thing is, I just think like with the Breakfast Club, it's just more so. I don't think that it's just random white people going to listen to the Breakfast Club. It's random white people going to Vlad TV. I it's random it's black people going to Vlad, huh? It's the opposite. I would listen to I don't a think so. white station, radio station. If they playing music, I like, and then whatever else happens after that, I'm just. But I'm listening. saying people that don't even listen to that. But if I'm you saying- white and you listen to that, like Vlad is just with with Breakfast Club. To me, it's just like I feel like. If you not really look like I, I don't see my dad. Now I ain't gonna say my dad because my dad listening to hip hop. I don't really see nobody outside of hip hop going to a hip hop radio station. Like, 
I could, I could. Yeah, you will because they put they talk about news. What kind of news though? They, it, they get real, politics they, 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 sometimes. Bro, they, 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 it's it's bro, not as heavy. No, it's, it's more so hip hop news. No, it's not heavy. But if it's important, they talking about it. Vlad's not finna sit here and talk about Joe by uh, uh Trump being mad that he lost. He'll never. My mama will listen if I had to tell. If my mama would listen to the Breakfast Club before she go to Vlad TV, my sister would go to the Breakfast Club. Before she they all listen to. They all listen of the hip hop culture. Mama, my mama don't listen to hip hop, but that, but I'm saying. But I'm it's saying. of the culture. The I'm just talking a random person. A I don't think a person is going to listen to the radio before they go to Vlad TV to hear a rapper or somebody from rap talk about their life. That's what I'm saying. Like a random person is like, even so like, I feel like if they was like, oh, there's this, if, if somebody was to be like, oh, there's a little baby interview and they random and white and they interested in little baby, they'll probably go to the Breakfast Club before they even know about Vlad TV because you got to be a little bit more in tune for Vlad TV versus like, oh, there's this good hip-hop radio station where they give donkeys of the days. You saying everything music. I'm saying. <laughs> you just saying, I'm saying that it's because of the hip-hop thing. Like, he don't just got rappers is what I'm... Like, they got, their, their power is in the hip-hop community. That's what I'm saying. Like that donkey, all out of that club. breakfast club, all that is hip hop. Like they might have a politician on there, but a lot of the people that come on there is more so in the hip hop field is what I'm saying. Like I'm on Vlad right now. Vlad guy. I'm going to name somebody. I bet you probably, what is his name? Brett Craigisher, like Zab Judah. Um, Zab Zab Zab, like, yeah, Zab Judah. I'm not saying you don't know him, but he, with me, I learned everybody that come on breakfast club. I know. I already know who they is. I don't know everybody no. on black. Who the, who would I not know? John Ossoff. Okay, you got that one. But that, <laughs> no, but I'm, no, 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 I'm but, saying like, wait, but that's wait. probably about it because they don't have that many people like that coming through there. You know what? I think, G, G, I think our experience with the Breakfast Club is different because I listen to them every day on the radio. I watch their show. I don't listen to them. I watch their show on YouTube. On YouTube, and but whatever's on, on there too, huh? Every they don't put every single thing on it. They put a lot of it, most of it. But I, th you listen every day because I faithfully listen every day. I don't. I only watch when it's something interesting on right. there. That's what, and I think that's why. I but for me, every day on Vlad, I can learn something because it's somebody I don't know on there, or some, but there's something that I don't know. Like with with Breakfast Club, it's Breakfast just. Club. Generally, it's just them talking about hip hop for me, and no, I know it's not. That's what I'm telling you, bro. No, I know experience different. Yeah, maybe so. I'm telling you, bro. It, I'm literally, I literally remember when I talk when we talked last episode, and you was like, uh, when we were talking about the money, and I was like, yeah, they just had a lady from Chicago talking about money. I've been like you know that from Vlad, though. Vlad has a whole finance page. Oh. No, that's not negating anything of that. But what I'm saying is, it's not just hip hop stuff. I honestly could say it's like 40, 60 almost. It's a lot of like non hip hop shit that they talk about on the Breakfast Club. But yeah, so the the point we was getting at was so was you just trying to discuss uh him uh is people getting self in trouble or is he getting him in trouble? Because you asked me like, if, well, uh, answer it. I don't think I don't think that uh. I don't think Vlad is getting nobody in I trouble. Didn't, yeah, I didn't get your opinion. You asked me. I didn't. Get I don't your think opinion. Vlad get nobody in trouble because you going up there and you asking, you answering questions on your own. That, that has nothing to do with Vlad. If you don't want to, if you know you in some sticky shit, then why would you even speak on it? I wouldn't speak on it at all. I would just yeah. shut up. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm like, because I've been hearing people blaming Vlad. I'm like, how y'all blaming a nigga asking the questions but not the nigga answering them? <laughs> Yes. Like what the fuck? Ain't that what you, when you understand? Like you don't blame the motherfucker to ask the yeah. questions. That's what they there for, right? So now, now they're trying to cancel. Now they're trying to cancel Vlad, and I just think that's just stupid. That's just stupid. Because I actually I, like Vlad. I, I was I gonna say, if you watched Vlad, you can't cancel him. You had to have already not watched him to not like what he do. A lot of people is already not liking Vlad because they say he the police. But like to I be honest, I personally never cared for his interviews too much. That's just me. He I watch asked, some, but I'm not even subscribed. He asks questions that I feel like uh need to be asked. Shit, some people might want to answer to. I don't have a problem with no question the interviewer asks. 
You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I think that's Y'all why people that. like Charlemagne more because Charlemagne will ask you some stupid shit that a regular person be like, why you act like Envy even said he was like, my dad think you gay Charlemagne because the stuff you saying the, the the way you be acting. Like he gonna act this he gonna act the way he wanna act. You know what I'm saying? Act what he wanna act. Mm-hmm. No, but, I, I definitely agree. I don't care I don't what know. you ask. It's up to you to answer that shit. And I'm not blaming, I'm not blaming nobody for asking questions because they ain't twisting your arm to answer it. And you came on their shit and you know what to you should know what to expect from them, especially if it ain't been discussed otherwise. You know what I'm saying? And then even with even thing with Charlemagne, he even has a little bit of decency and motherfuckers still be mad at him. He don't act shit that he knows would affect the person. He's tried to, to calm down on that type of shit. He's done it in the past, but he don't ask triggering questions. You know what I'm saying? But he will ask the shit motherfuckers want to know. But Vlad, I just never liked Vlad because I mean, it's, it's biased as hell, but I just hate how much he fucking wants to talk to Lord Jamar about Eminem, and it pisses me off. <laughs> like, I, that shit blows the fuck out of me, so I'm like, this nigga be pissing me off. Like, he yeah. just always sucking L- Jamar dick. That's one of his best friends. Yeah, you know? I'm like, That's... he ain't got to suck his dick just because he your mans, but... Uh, that, I'm just not a Vlad fan, but I don't. I never canceled him, and I'm not canceling him now. He's never. It's not his fault. People answer the questions. <laughs> but yeah, that's just about. That's pretty much it uh, for Vlad. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the episode too. Uh, I ain't got nothing else. I just want to say, if y'all in these streets, y'all stay safe because a lot of people out here getting sick from COVID, and that's yeah, it. Man. Yeah, man. I wasn't gonna say nothing else. I wasn't gonna say nothing else. I was just agreeing. I was like, yeah. But uh, they, uh, I mean, you ain't you ain't exit out, B. I just uh, said that was it. No, I mean, what you- <laughs> no, you good. Speak to what you know. Be open to what you don't. And remember, nothing applies to everyone but life and death. This is cultural conversations. Be safe. All right. Cause you, yeah. What do like, I always you- say? You be like, this your boy Steph, and I'm like, this logics, and then I say it. That's why I was. Like, Do I say that at the end? Yeah, you said it like all, the past, as far as I can remember. Not as far as I can remember. You said it like regularly. That's why I was like. That's why I was like. But you know what? It ain't a lot though. You said it maybe like twice. I'm sure. Like I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to be saying? <laughs> I don't think you realize it, but yeah, you definitely be like, all right, yeah, this your boy stuff, and I like this logic, and I say, <laughs> all right, yeah, I ain't know, I, I'm, all right, I ain't know, I was, I thought I usually just be like ending saying something, and I'd be like, yeah, and see, like that's why I ended talking about COVID, and then I was like, all right, <laughs> it's all good.